world's largest asset manager BlackRock has filed an S1 form with the US SEC for its iShares Ethereum Trust, a spot Ether exchange traded fund. This move follows last week's corporate registration of that name and Nasdaq's filing of a 19B4 with the SEC seeking approval for a spot ETF. Following the move, price of Ether briefly jumped nearly 2% to $2,080 filing but has since retreated lower roughly its price prior to the news. In recent times, crypto prices have responded swiftly to ETF-related updates, particularly after court rulings against SEC's rejection of spot crypto ETF applications in last few months improved market hopes for approval. It may be recalled that a tweet mentioning iShares ETF registration referencing XRP sent the token rallying 10% before BlackRock said it was fake. Along with several other asset managers, BlackRock currently is awaiting word from the SEC on listing a spot Bitcoin ETF that could open up average investor access to the crypto dramatically. Company CEO Larry Fink has apparently done a complete U-turn on crypto, recently expressing support for the sector. Meanwhile, the SEC has been delaying decision on approving spot Bitcoin ETF application, increasing the odds that it won't approve any such vehicles this year. Gas prices on Ethereum Layer 2 Polygon increased by over 1000% to a maximum of $0.10 due to a massive influx of users minting tokens called POLs, which are modeled after ordinals. Polygon founder Sandeep Nailwal expressed his amazement at the increased transaction activity on the network in post on November 16th on X, previously known as Twitter. He speculated that the spike might have been caused by the introduction of a new Polygon-based non-fungible token collection. Enthusiasm for minting the new POL as, uh, tokens appears to be the primary cause of the abrupt surge in gas prices and an increase in network activity. Dune Analytics data showed the rush of minting activity for POLs coincided with more than 102 million MATIC tokens worth $86 million at current prices being used as gas. The POLS token is based on the PRC20 protocol, which functions similarly to the BRC20 standard, which is derived from Bitcoin ordinals. Less than 18,000 POLS owners have claimed a token representing just 8.7% of the total supply, according to data from Ethereum Virtual Machine Data Source EVM. Since then, Polygon gas fees have stabilized at 882 GWEI, back to normal levels. A similar although longer lasting surge in activity was seen on the Bitcoin network in May of this year after the Auditor's protocol was released. This protocol enables users to mint NFTs directly or onto the Bitcoin blockchain. The Monetary Authority of Singapore unveiled initiative to ensure the safe and innovative use of digital money in Singapore. The agency released a three-point agenda that included a blueprint outlining the infrastructure required for a digital Singapore dollar, expanding digital money trials, and a plan to issue a live central bank digital currency for wholesale settlement. MAS will pilot the live issuance of wholesale CBDCs for the first time after previously simulating issuance within test environments. The first pilot will involve the use of live wholesale CBDC to settle retail payments between commercial banks. Future pilots could include the use of live wholesale CBDC for the settlement of cross-border security trade. This is another milestone for CBDC which should make central bankers smile and Bitcoin minimalist paranoid. Not surprisingly, the tests are for wholesale CBDC, not retail, so not impacting users directly. Singapore always announced its big milestones during its Singapore Fintech festivals, which took place in the weekend and their credits. These announcements are quite impressive. So that's all in this special segment. For more such updates, watch 3.tv or log on to our website www3 or scan the QR code. Thank you.